What's up guys? So today I am going to my old internship which I interned last year actually for this brand called Staple Pigeon. You guys should know about them. You might know about them because of the Nike SB Dunks right there. Since I'm entering at V-Files this summer, I can't really work there. But since I had off Thursday and Friday, I said I gotta come by and they have a new office too, so it's gonna be exciting. Let's check it out. Over here we have knowledge and pretty much we have anything from shoe is my middle name, Apple designs, a thousand extraordinary objects, really cool. I've gotten a lot of inspo from some of these books, really cool stuff. Hey, look, get back to work, let's go. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm All sleeping right. on the job, Tom. That's right. So here's one room. Stock, inventory, two desks for designing, talking, whatever. Two more desks over here. So what I've been doing here is creative content stuff, coming up with ideas for sales, you know, like maybe a giveaway, or say we have a shirt with a bunch of pigeons on it, I'll be like, guess how many pigeons are on this shirt to be entered to win a free staple t-shirt or something. Post a photo of staple and get 10% off your next order, or uh, managing the Twitter, the Instagram, um, being a help, uh, helping out for events like filming for events um, Coordinating doing emails actually styled their last photo shoot and I modeled in it, which is pretty cool ah, I'm right there Ooh. Oh, This is amazing honestly because when I was younger I Literally loved this brand and I love sneakers and I always looked up to Jeff and just what they're doing and I just thought like this would be so cool to be a part of and now I'm here ah! you know I'm always trying to work harder and meet more people and get better at what I do and learn that's the most important thing of all alright so this is Jeff's office right in here I'm gonna go in real quick what's going on Jeff how you doing man welcome to my office tell them a little right. bit about yourself. well we just moved into this office you know about a not even couple months ago like January basically uh, and yeah take a look around I mean like make yourself at home you'll see uh, I tried to create a space that is like both productive for working but also as you can see like you know loungy and chilly if like we would just want to like talk and like rap a little bit you know um, of course you know there's a lot of stuff in my office you'll see like just random you know like bikes backpacks shoes mm -hmm. sunglasses toys and I'd say most of the stuff is like stuff that I've worked on or inspires my work, you mm -hmm. know? So even though it all looks like toys and fun and like, you know, highly energetic, but this is all work, don't get it twisted. You know, everything here is work. Mm -hmm. uh, and I try to have things that inspire me all the time, like the future painting on the wall there, you know? Um, That's awesome. And then you'll see like a lot of work here um, by my friends, Adele Renault did the pigeons, um, Caro did the Nike swoosh, and the, the Pigeon Dunk Bear, that Shirts album from Pure Beauty, Rose Stars Basketball, Chantel Martin's uh, Puma Clyde's, this is Patrick Martinez. Um, so yeah, just a lot of dope stuff. And then 
on this on this wall, you know, you'll see a lot of amazing stuff too. Uh, and then this is my desk with. What's your favorite toy if you had to pick one? Uh, man, well. I know it's a hard question. It's a hard one, but I would say, you know, this one that was recently given to me by Kano Kid is really dope because it's, it's, um, you know, the, the infamous take a knee piece um, that was immortalized into a toy, which I think is just really dope the way he executed that. Yeah. Uh, today it's pretty casual. It's not blazing hot, 100 degrees. Today was a little bit cool, so I'm wearing uh, the Mars Yard Tom Sachs Nikes, which are one of my favorite shoes of like the past 10 years, I would say. Um, I have on these pants by this uh, this brand in Asia called Chin, actually, which I love. And then this T-shirt is from a brand in the UK called Folk, F-O-L-K. It's got some nice details on the back. Um, so I just thought of this idea since Jeff has so many pairs of sneakers I'm gonna pick two pairs and he's blindfolded right now He cannot see can yep. you see how many fingers I'm holding up? Nope. Nope So he can't see and I'm picking two pairs of shoes and we're gonna see if he can guess which ones they are This is where he steals everything <laughs> I, I blindfolded my office is just empty <laughs> have a knitted shoe, knitted upper. How's it feel? It's techy. Okay, here's the midsole. Hmm. This is hold on, let me do the let me do the blow test. Oh, okay. I can smell it, right? Mm, you can smell it. This is the Adidas 4D. That's correct. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Oh. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm feeling right now. Mm -hmm. I just did this, and this dot is classic Air Force One. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, which Air Force One? Hmm. How does it feel, the texture? It feels, uh, it's smooth leather. Smooth leather. So wait, this is the, uh, this is the right side. Mm. Okay, oh, let me feel it. The tongue is a clue. Leather. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's the white one. Is that your final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> yes. There Dope. you go. Awesome. Two for two. Yes. Oh, we doing one more? Two for two. We'll do, do you wanna do another one? Yeah, we'll do one more. Okay. One more, here we go. Oh, it's very light. This one's very light. This is the uh, old school, um, I think this is the old school Nike tag, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Maybe. This is, oh, this is tough. This is an old shoe. I could smell the oldness in it. And then you've got the outsole here with the with the cushioning in the middle. Oh, let me see the tongue. The tongue is no label on the tongue. Hmm. hmm. Is it the Nike Air? Damn. Oh, which one is it? Which one? Are which one? You? Oh, that's a clue. Fuck. <laughs> is it um the gray and red? Gray, red, is that your final Nike. Answer? Yeah. That is correct. Wow. That's crazy. Ding, ding, ding. Three for three. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge sneakerhead, and hopefully you guys know about this shoe. This shoe is insane. This is the Nike Staple Dunk SB. This is zero out of 30. This is Jeff's personal pair. I'm holding history right here. This shoe released in 2005 and wow. Guess how many were made? 
There were only 150 of these made in the entire world and they were sold exclusively downtown at Reed Space at their store. They didn't know what was happening. All of a sudden, there was a riot. People were fighting, going crazy. People came for like two days for this shoe. This shoe started off everything for the brand Staple Pigeon and really expanded their clothing. And then we have the black Staple Pigeon Dunk. And this shoe is obviously more subtle, more simple. Um, black is the New York City color, of course. You know, everyone wears black in the city. Two iconic shoes right here. And uh, you guys should definitely check out Staples clothes. They have some really sick stuff. Thank you guys for watching. This is just a little video I wanted to put together because of how much I love Staple and Jeff and what they're doing. You know, check them out and subscribe as always. Check me out on the gram. Peace. Have a good one.